السلام علیکم دی گڈ مارننگ ان دا انارمی اینڈ فیزیولوجی لیکچر آف دی سیریز ٹو ڈے از دا لیکچر نمبر الیون اینڈ دا لیکچر نمبر الیون ٹو ڈے ول گو ٹو لرن اباؤٹ دی لوور لیم اینڈ دی لوور لیم ٹو ڈے ول گو ٹو لرن دی اباؤٹ دی بون وچ از ٹیک دی پارٹ ٹو میک دی دی تھائی and this is the single bone which is the longest bone in uh, the human body this longest bone and the strongest bone in the human body is called the femur in the uh, as i uh, told you in the previous lecture about the uh, the lo the long bone uh, it has the three parts of the long bone the upper extremity which is called the proximal end and the middle one the the major portion of the long uh, the long bone is the consist of the major portion is the shaft and mostly the shaft of the long bone is the the rounded and the cylindrical in shape and this is the uh, lower extremity or the distal end of the long bone now this is the uh, femur bone and the femur bone is again is the uh, longest bone and the strongest bone in the human body which is make the structure of the thigh in the lower limb uh, if you see how we can identify that this uh, femur bone is uh, belong to the right side of the lower limb or the left side of the lower limb so you you are looking over here and the proximal end of the femur is a rounded in a structure and this rounded structure of the femur uh, called the head and always keep the head of the femur on the medial side and if you see the shaft of the of the femur it is a curve in shape from the interior side from the interior side it is in the smooth in structure from the posterior side the from the posterior side is a liner or structure is present over there and it is concave in shape so we keep the the head of the femur head of the femur on the medial side and then the smooth surface of the shaft which is convex in uh, in a structure which is smooth and convex in a structure is always keep on the interior side then you can identify this is the uh, right side uh, uh, femur bone or the left side of the femur bone so and the intercondylar notch this intercondylar notch always keep on the posterior side so by these uh, by skipping this uh, feature of the femur bone then you can identify this bone is belong to the right side or is the left side so this uh, femur bone is belong to the right thigh of the lower limb now we will start from the uh, upper extremity of the uh, femur bone you are looking here is a rounded in a structure and these rounded in a structure of the femur bone it is called the head if you see in the medial side of the head of the femur it is a is a ditch over here small ditch or the depression is here and this is called the meatus this is called the femur bone meatus and then the the ligaments of the uh, of the meatus or the ligaments from here is goes to attach in the acetabulum uh, acetabulum fossa to to make the femoro uh, acetabular joint more stronger now if you are looking here just below of the uh, rounded head it is a narrow in a structure is a narrow in a structure surrounding of the head surrounding and below of the head is the narrow in a structure and this narrow in a structure is called the neck of the femur if you look at the this is the interior view of the this is the interior view of the uh, proximal end of the femur if you are looking at the lateral side at the lateral side of the uh, head of the femur it is a is a projection is over here and this projection is a greater in shape and this projection is called the greater trochanter this projection is called the greater trochanter and the 
on the just below of the uh, head of the femur on the medial side you are looking here a uh, lesser projection is here and this lesser projection is called the lesser trochanter this one is called the greater trochanter and this one is called the lesser trochanter if you are looking here from the greater trochanter till to the lesser trochanter is a crest as a rough like structure over here and this crest is called the intertrochanter crest because why it is called the intertrochanter crest because this crest is present between the two trochanter so we uh, we put the name the intertrochanter crest because this crest is present between the greater trochanter and the lesser trochanter but it is present on the interior side if you will come up on the if you look from the superior from the upper portion upper upper side of the proximal end this is a greater trochanter and this uh, just below of the greater trochanter is a fossa is here and this is called the trochanteric fossa this fossa is called the trochanteric fossa now we will come up on the posterior side of the uh, proximal end of the femur bone and again this is a greater trochanter and this is the lesser trochanter now in the posterior side between the greater trochanter and the lesser trochanter is a line over here you are looking is a line over here and this line is called the intertrochanteric line on the posterior side is a line is here and this line is called the intertrochanteric line and the interior side it is a crest over here between the two trochanter this the name of this uh, crest is called the intertrochanteric crest uh, the posterior side is the intertrochanteric line on the intertrochanteric line just below of the greater trochanter is a tubercle is here is a small tubercle is here you are looking here this is a small tubercle is here and this tubercle is called the quadrate tubercle just below of the uh, lesser trochanter is a line over here this line is start from the interior side and goes to at the back side this line is start from the lesser trochanter from the interior side interior medial side from the interior medial side and goes towards the posterior side and this line is called the spiral line the name of this line is called the spiral line just below of the on the posterior side just below of the greater trochanter is again is a tubercle is here as a line over here and this line is called the gluteal line and this line is called the gluteal line and just at the, the gluteal line in the middle of the gluteal line is a tuberosity is here and this tuberosity is called the gluteal tuberosity from le from the greater trochanter is a line is a start is goes to downward with reach at the middle of the at the middle of the shaft of the femur is a line over here this line is called the gluteal line and in the between of the gluteal line at the superior portion of the gluteal line is a tuberosity is here and this tuberosity is called the gluteal tuberosity now in the interior side now we will come up on the shaft of the femur bone shaft of the femur bone the shaft of the femur bone is the cylindrical and rounded in shape and it is convex from the interior side if you are looking here this look here this is a convex from the it is a convex from the interior side and concave from the posterior side and from the interior side is a convex in shape and also smooth in structure it is also smooth in structure and the from the posterior side it is a rough liner structure are present on the concave portion of the shaft of the femur uh, study the posterior side of the uh, shaft of the femur bone in the middle of the shaft you are looking over here in the middle of the shaft is a single line over here from the upper portion the gluteal line the spiral line comes and become joined over here to make a single line in the middle of the shaft of the femur and this single line is called the linea spira this 
single line which is rough in a structure which is a present in the middle of the shaft of the femur bone this is called the lina spera when the lina spera reach at the before it reaching at the uh, distal end before to reaching at the distal end it is it is divided into the two line you are looking here it is uh, the, this lina spera is going to divide into the two uh, two line the one line which is present on the medial side the line which is present on the medial side this car the supra medial epicondylar line supra medial epicondylar line and this one is called the supra lateral epicondylar line supra medial epicondylar line and supra lateral epicondylar line now we will come up on the uh, in the distal end of the femur bone uh, what is, are the features or the structure are present in the the distal end of the femur bone this is the interior view of the distal end of the femur bone if you are looking here the lower portion you are looking here is a two condyle here and this is condyle is called the lateral condyle and this one is the medial condyle this is the lateral condyle and this one is the medial condyle so between the two condyle you are looking here in the posterior side between the two condyle is a notch is here and this called the intercondylar notch the between the two condyle the lateral condyle and the medial condyle is a notch is there and this notch the name of this notch is called the intercondylar notch now in the center of this intercondylar notch you are looking here is a fossa is here and this fossa is called the intercondylar fossa the the fossa which is present in the intercondylar notch and this fossa is called the intercondylar fossa and this is the intercondylar notch now in the in, in the condyle is uh, looking here is a groove over here this is called the lateral condylar groove and this one is called the medial condylar groove this is the lateral condylar groove and this is the medial condylar groove and just of the between of the two condyle is a surface or area is here and this surface area which is a ditch like in a structure is a depressed in a structure this is called the semilunar surface area the semilunar surface area this similar surface area is divided the the this the condylar area of the uh, lower portion of the femur bone now in the at the interior side at the interior side this surface is called the uh, patellar surface because the patella bones joined over here and move up and down and the lateral side on this surface area and the just at the side or the lateral side of the lateral side of the uh, condyle this both condyle the medial condyle and lateral condyle this called the uh, this is the called the uh, epi uh, lateral epicondyle and this one is called the medial epicondyle this one is called the lateral epicondyle and this one called the medial epicondyle just above of the medial epicondyle is an a tubercle over here and this tubercle is called the adductor tubercle and this tubercle is called the adductor tubercle so this is the uh, two day session it we uh, learned and we go through from the overview of the femur bone uh, what are the uh, portion of the femur bone and the it is the type of the long bone it is the longest and the strongest bone which is a present in the lower limb and it is uh, take the part to make the portion of the, the thigh of the lower limb this is a singular bone which is uh, present in the thigh and it is again it's, it is has three uh, portion of the long bone the upper extremity uh, the shaft and the lower extremity in the 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 the, uh, the femur bone it is the the shaft of the femur bone is the rounded and cylindrical in shape but it is convex from the interior side and concave from the posterior side 
the convex portion of the shaft of the femur bone is a smooth like in a structures no any feature no any process no any line is present over here and the posterior side of the shaft of the femur bone it is the different type of the line or the different type of the tuberosity is present over here so uh, i hope you have learned uh, a lot and also enjoyed from the two day sessions uh, if you any sort of uh, of the queries or any questions you can email me uh, you can comments on my youtube channel inbox uh, hph and in the last i again request you all after watching this video lecture of the anatomy and physiology which is very learning uh, for you all uh, just to subscribe my subscribe my channels and also press the button then you can uh, get the uh, alert for the new lecture of the anatomy and physiology thank you so much